Need an adorable way to store your daughter's bows? Then keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. This one is how to build a bow ladder. So if you are a bow obsessed mom like I am, then you definitely want to watch this video. We are going step by step on exactly how we personally made our own bow ladder and what materials we use. All of that will be in the description box below. Plus, if you stick around to the very end, we are doing a bow love giveaway for all of you bow loving moms. So keep watching and I am about to turn it over to my husband, Dean, who is the mastermind behind this project and he's gonna help you guys out. Lucy, what's up? Hello everyone. All right, so the way we're gonna start this project is by first measuring our header. It's gonna come to 23 and 5 8 inches wide. What that's going to give you is the width of the actual bar. So make your mark, grab yourself a triangle, and make a long one so you know where to cut. Pro tip here, if you are using a skill saw, you can set it up where you need to make the cut, put your triangle against the side of it, and uh, hold tight when you do that. You can use it as a guide so you can make a straight cut. If you don't have any saws where you can actually make these cuts at home, wherever you pick up your one by material at your local hardware store should be able to make the cuts for you for a small fee. And we'll post the measurements that we used in the description below, so if you do need to get someone else to make the cuts, you can make sure that they do it right. We used one by three finger joint poplar for this project. That's two and a half inches wide. So we wanted a seven foot tall bow ladder, which means we cut the legs to six foot nine and a half inches. I used the triangle here just to make sure that my legs lined up straight with the header. I forgot to pick up wood glue for this project. At this point, you would put the wood glue between your leg and your header, then you would line it up and nail it be sure to pick up some wood glue that's what's going to hold the header onto the legs and make it sturdy and because we're making a seven foot tall ladder the best thing to do is to basically make your cuts make your staples put the glue on all that jazz and then paint it once the paint dries then we're going to actually do all the measurements and add the rungs of the ladder. Once that's complete, we'll flip it over and paint the backside. Basically, the frame of the ladder is pretty fragile until it's got the added stability from the rungs. Just to reiterate, paint the sides, paint the top, but don't try to flip this over and paint the bottom. If you do that, you have a high potential of actually breaking off one of the legs before you have a chance to sturdy it up with the extra rungs. And I am speaking from experience, so please don't try to flip this over. Now here comes the important measurements. We're going to make our first rung one and a half inches from where the header meets the top of the leg. So make your mark one and a half inches down and one and three sixteenths inches away from the outside of the ladder. After the marks are made, now we drill a pilot hole. I used a one sixteenth of an inch drill bit to make these. The holes are only there so that when you screw in the base of the rails, basically they go exactly where you want them to. And the IKEA rails don't come with any screws for mounting, so we will link what we used in the description below. After you make your marks for the first rail, you want to pre-fit it, test fit it. You want to just make sure that it works. If for some reason you mismeasured something, you're going to find out right now. And it's better to find out early if anything needs to be adjusted than to find out after you've already drilled 18 holes. P.S. When you're mounting the base to the ladder, the hole on the side of the base faces the ground. The rest of these rails will be spaced out 9 inches from one another, so make those marks now. 9, 18, 27, 36. Just keep on going until you've hit all of the measurements for the amount of rails that you have. And at this point, make sure that you mark both the left and the right leg of the ladder. 
just so you know, if you're not using 1x3 like we are, if you're using 1x2 or 1x4, as long as you make your measurements from the outside of your ladder legs, so that 1 and 3 16 inches from the outside of the ladder leg, these measurements will be fine and they will work for you. At this point, make all of your marks that are 1 and 3 16 inches from the outside of the ladder. Next, we are going to drill all of our pilot holes. It doesn't matter if you go all the way through your one by, you're going to paint the back anyway. And if you don't paint the back, it doesn't matter because it's facing a wall. Now it's time to install the base of each rail. This is where the pilot holes come in handy. You take the screw, put it in the base, put that screw tip right in the pilot hole and let the drill do its job. Once you've installed all the bases onto this ladder, now you're just going to put the rails into the base and then comes the fun part, installing the screws that hold the rail to the base. I, uh, I actually left this one here so you can see exactly how long it takes to tighten one of these up. And it's eight times longer than that. So once you've got all of these tightened up, you can now flip it over and paint the back. And once it's dry, you then get to take it in your room, decorate, and enjoy your beautiful bow ladder. Alright, so here is a showing of the material and the tools that we use to build this bow ladder. We've got the Brad Nailer, which you can pick up for, I think, under $50. Got my Dewalt Impact Driver with a Phillips head and a 1 16th of an inch drill bit on it. Gotta have your wood screws, your pencil, your tape measure. I used this triangle a couple different times. The rail, obviously from Ikea, and that little Allen wrench comes with the rail, so you'll be all right there. And also any one by that you decide. We went with the one by three, thought that that was a good width. Uh, previously we made one out of one by two, which also looks good. And I'm back. Thank you guys again so much for joining us for this video. I really hope that Dean was super helpful in giving you the knowledge and tools that you need to build your own bow ladder for your daughter's growing collection. And as promised, I am doing a bow giveaway of one of my favorite prints from Baby Bling, which is the Tiny Tacos print. So all you have to do is hit that like button, hit the red subscribe button, and most importantly, leave me a comment with how many bows are in your daughter's collection. And then the winner will be announced in next week's video that will be released on Monday, May 18th at 10 a.m. So see you guys next week. Thanks again for watching. Bye guys.